Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to the Paul Pluter channel. And today's a bit of a follow-up, bit of a follow-up for a, uh, I did a paid review. This was a guy who, uh, he was asking me, should he keep his two-tone bluesy Submariner or should he sell it? I'm just trying to find my glasses. Where did I, where did I put my glasses? I'm blind. I'm going blind, guys. I'm going blind 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 okay not a worry there we'll find them later arch uh so he, he said to me he said should he keep his uh two-tone bluesy or sell it he's worn it and <coughs> he's loved it and etc and etc cetera, et cetera. and uh he's sort of gotten into watches in a big way lately and and he's asking me does he keep keep it now he says to me he goes uh hi there after emailing you, I was pretty set on selling. A reseller offered him 6,000 US, that's for his two-tone bluesy. After watching a few of your vids, I decided to keep it. Very good. This is for Christian. So now the question is, save it for special days or just wear the SOB? Hell, I bought the damn thing. Not sure I'm, down, I'm done with homage watches, if even Tudors, which are homage to the, the Rolexes. Uh, thanks. Looking forward to your thoughts, uh, Christian. Now, Christian, I got to tell you, this is a very interesting thing, and uh, <coughs> it's 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 interesting you say this because many years ago I had my Rolex Explorer One, the ten sixteen, and I bought it, and I just wore it. I didn't know about collecting watches. I just I bought it to wear. I bought it to wear, and what happened then, of course, is that. You know, the internet, and I, I, I suddenly realized the 1016 was very expensive, valuable. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? What do I do? What do I do? I was an idiot. I sold it. And before I sold it, for about a year before then, I, I used to just cherish the thing, put it in its box and, you know, wear something else. And I, I got to tell you, what do you do? What do you do? Do you? So Christian's saying to me, he's got this two-tone bluesy. Does he keep it in the box? Or does he wear the damn thing? And let me tell you this. Yesterday, I didn't make any vids yesterday because I went and saw a good friend of mine, Herman. Herman is the um, the real estate guy from the Gold Coast who unfortunately had diabetes. And um, he. It, it, it's a very sad story, my friend Herman. Um, he had his leg amputated from the diabetes. Very, very sad story. And... You know, Herman's 71 now, and he, 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 I went and saw him yesterday just to, um, he asked to see me, I'm, I always like to say, stay in touch with Herman, and he said to me, just wear it, just wear it, just do it, just do whatever, whatever you need to do to make you happy, just do it, he said, because when you're my age, he's 71, he said, life can be all over before you know it, and... You know, life ain't a dress rehearsal. And I I think that is so true. So many of us collectors, we love our watches. We really love them. We get into the hobby. And then all of a sudden we realize, ooh, that's 6,000 US dollars. And, you know, if you look at the retail replacement, it's, 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 it's double that, isn't it? You know, so you kind of say to yourself, oh, treat it to the side. Do I Now, I think what the answer is, what is the answer as far as these watches go? I think myself, you've got to enjoy them. You do have to enjoy them. And I, I think it depends on your work and what you do. Like in my case, I, I've got quite a, I've got the, the Archie 5 and the Paddock. I don't wear the Paddock a lot. That's something I like to keep for a special occasion type watch. But other things, like I've got the Speedmaster, that's the Man on the Moon, Amiga. I've got the Rolex Explorer 2. I've got the Reverso Grand Date. And I've got the IWC. And I honestly think, look, look, you've bought these things. You've lusted after them. Wear it. Definitely, 100% wear it. If you've got a collection, okay, you can rotate. You can put it into storage for a little bit. But wear it. And uh, I got to tell you, it's a very interesting question. Do you, do you keep it for special occasions? And the worst thing that can happen is 
is you can have this watch you look you cherish it you keep it at safe and the bloody thing gets stolen that's the worst thing that can happen and in my case there i've um i've put all my expensive watches into the bank safe i put them into the bank safe which you know that's not to say they can't be stolen from the bank safe because there is no 100 percent answer what do you do do you have a bank safe at home do you have a small safe? What, what, what do you do? What do you do? And, um, you know, the problem is you have a real, it doesn't matter how good your safe at home is. If someone turns up with a gun to your head, you're going to open it, aren't you? I hope you open it because life, life is better than, than these watches. You, life is more precious than your collection. And that, that, that's a really good question. Do you wear it or cherish it? What do you do? And I think myself, I really think, we're here for a short time. And I, I'm not saying you wear your your bluesy when you're cleaning the pool or washing the car. I didn't say that. But if you're going to work and I mean if your work is a if your work is a white collar in an office, as long as you're not using a cement mixer and shit like that, I I would use it and wear it. <clears throat> and I would, you want to be careful with it if you, if you ding it and that, you know, of course, yes, yes, that's, you don't want to do that. But in the same token there, you bought these things for it to enjoy and to wear. And there's kind of a very special enjoyment you get when you have a watch that you've worn all your life. Yes, it may not be minty perfect, but it's, it's special to you. It's special to you. And I mean, let, let's be honest there. Okay, so so we're talking, <coughs> I think from the picture, he's got a 16613. So that's a pre-ceramic, two-tone bluesy. Um, okay, it's worth 6,000 US. Would you wear it or do you, do you hoard it, treasure it? What do you do? Well, I think the answer is, it's never going to be a $60,000 watch, is it? I mean, unless, in today's dollars, it's not going to be. Because it's, they're, they're quite... You know, that, that's a very much a very nice luxury watch. It's beautiful. I, I would love one myself. But you've got to say to yourself, okay, it's, 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 yeah, it's a 6,000. That's, that's a lot of money. You could buy a decent secondhand banger, secondhand car for that. But you got to wear it. Wear it. Wear it. I mean, what's the point in, in, in having these things that you don't wear because they're too precious? I mean, wear it. He's already worn it for so long. Just continue wearing it. And I've been there myself. I've I've done all the dumb things like that. I thought, oh, too precious. But be careful. I worked in IT, and sometimes you've got to move boxes and move computers and move stuff. So if you're going to do that, just take it off. Put it, put it on your desk securely somewhere, even in a drawer. You know, make it secure. There, and uh, that's that's probably the best thing you can do is is to you want to enjoy these things. I mean, what are we here for on this planet? What are we here for? Are we here to pay? Our mortgage. What are we here for? What is the reason for it? We, we want to have some fun. We want to have some fun. And if you've got a beautiful watch, I'm not saying you should wear everything, but I would put it into if you've got a if if you've got if that's your only watch, wear it. If you've got a small collection, rotate, rotate. But <coughs> please make sure you have some security, because there's nothing worse then some asshole stealing it and you've lost the watch. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. So be careful. Be very careful. And uh, if it's a one watch, wear it. Wear, take it off if you're going to do rough things, of course. But for other things, wear it. That's what it's for. If it gets damaged, you try and get it fixed. You know, that's 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 my general advice there. So, um... Definitely wear it, wear it, wear it, wear it. And that, that's what I'm doing. I'm wearing my IWC. I mean, this came back from service. It's minty, it's perfect, it's, it's everything you'd, you'd kind of think, oh, oh, keep it, keep it precious, keep it. Wear it. I want to wear the bloody thing. I get happiness from wearing my watches, not hoarding them. I like to hoard too, but, you know, wear them, wear them. Be careful, but wear them. I'm Archie Luxury, answering a viewer question. That's for Christian. It's a follow-up video for Christian. Tell me what you guys think of that. Yeah.